Does one need a green thumb for hydroponic plants? Not at all. None, <laughs> none whatsoever. And that's one of the, the exciting things, I think, about educating people about hydroponic growing. The word, it's intimidating, you, you know, people think about the lights and all the other aspects of it, but our job is to really make that simple and digestible for you to understand and embrace it in a way where it's, it makes you feel empowered, like you can really do this, and you can. Is it difficult to maintain an inland? No, it's not. No, it's not. So the way we design the inland, it's fully automated. The only thing that a person has to do is add water. And that's every three to four days, depending on what you're growing. And then the nutrients that we actually make ourselves every two weeks. The inland does its own thing. The lights come on, on timers. The water pump that feeds the plant roots, it's on timers. And these are on 24-hour timer timers. So you just watch the food grow and add water to the reservoir every couple of days and nutrients every two weeks. And literally, Chef Luna, that is it. That's all you have to do. I could just have a few of these in my house and pretty much, let's say, cook for people in my own home. <laughs> you absolutely can. You really, truly can. <laughs> that, that's wonderful. And you really? can do it steps away from your kitchen. So we designed the inland to be aesthetically pleasing or add decor to a room. So it, you can put it in a hallway or in a kitchen. It looks like a piece of furniture and it's sleek and it fits in with your room decor. <laughs> Fill in the blank. Hydroponic planting is? New age way of living. How long does it take for lettuce to grow hydroponically? Two and a half, three weeks before it's harvestable. Do you have any training education on growing plants hydroponically? No official training. I was, I was self-taught. I taught myself probably about four years ago and I started in my backyard. Well, actually I started in my laundry room in my house, just tinkering around with hydroponics and it evolved from my laundry room to a backyard shed to where I am now in a warehouse space. So I have to say, Greg, you, you, you've recreated the laundry room. I did, I did. I had to work <laughs> it with my wife for space. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can ever see the laundry room anymore like it used to be. No, not at all. <laughs> we can actually eat there. You, you could. You really could. I wouldn't advise it, but it's possible. <laughs> Is there anything of importance that you would like to share with us? Well, I, I, I would. I, I think one of our missions around starting this business and promoting the Inland is to help people change lifestyles and how they see food and how they eat. You know, I have a passion for people and plants. I call it PMP. That's part of what, you know, you and I discussed earlier, your, your purpose in life. And I want to be able to impact people's lives in, in a different way of how they can control a part of their food source. And this allows us to be able to do that. And I, I, I'm excited about the opportunities that it can work and how they can change lifestyles, particularly in urban communities where there's, the choices aren't as plentiful and it gives people hope and opportunity to be able to say, hey, look, you know, this is something that I truly can do and impact my life in a different way. What is the cost of inland or producing inside? 
So we have three different sizes and they're scalable. We have a two tower inland, which is the size for one to two person household. Uh, if you're an avid eater of lettuce greens or fresh herbs, uh, that starts at $700. And we, the next step, the next size is a four tower inland, which can feed a family between three to five uh, that's for ten a uh, thousand fifty, and then there's an entire eight tower unit that's a wall size, which is fifteen hundred dollars. This is an off the wall question. I have to ask just because I think you are an off the wall person. <clears throat> Greg, do you consider yourself a lunatic? All day long. <laughs> All day long. All day long. Some people understand me, some people don't, you know, depending on what day it is, I may not understand me all the time. 